Hi there and welcome to another Ask Russ. Today I'm going to be looking at ways to add sound effects to your Powtoon even though Powtoon doesn't have the facilities for that. Um, we're going to use a free program called Audacity. Uh, if you google it it's just going to come up um, and there's download links for PC and Mac. So I'll close that. Um, I've got it running here. Um, what I've got up the top is the voiceover for my explainer video. We're going to have a look at the video in a minute. Um, and then I've dropped in various sound effects at certain times. All of them into Audacity and at the end of it I'm going to do an export as an MP3 um, like that. And when I've got my file, I'm then going to go back to the Powtoon program. And if we look at the sound options, we've got the music track, which I'm not going to touch there. I'm going to leave that as playing Merry Gone Round MP3. Um, and for the voiceover, this is where I'm putting all of the sound effects in with the voiceover um, at the right times. Just upload it again. Are you stuck working on legacy applications that take ages to build and are a nightmare to maintain? Is your business software code We've managed too to create a Powtoon with sound tests. effects with just the using one other program, uh, which is free. All of this can be done with a video editor uh, and a video editing program, but that usually costs a lot of money. So this is a free alternative for people and just an idea on how they can add some sound effects for free. I'm using Audacity to record the voiceover for this tutorial. Um, on Audacity, there are two main tools, um, the selection tool and the time shift tool, where this is where we can adjust the position. What I've done is I've uploaded my video to YouTube, um, and if you go into the annotation section, um, I find it this could be slightly easier to work with. So the typing starting at just about two seconds. If I go back to Audacity, I've got that, that's the two second mark there. Um, the next sound effect I wanted to put in was the critical error. On Audacity you can actually drag these um, channels. They're, they're almost like layers in Photoshop, but they're channels for audio. You can drag them into different positions, which might help. Um, jumping back to the video and I press play, the errors appearing right there which is um, about five seconds in so I've put that one in. On any system sound files can actually just be dragged and dropped straight in. I'm on Windows but it would be the same on um, the Apple systems for sure. Back to the video preview on YouTube. Um, this is a little flash element that I've added into Powtoon. Powtoon allows you to do that. I've talked about it in last week's Ask Russ. Uh, if I press play, we've got that at 23 seconds. He's falling down there. Um, it's talking about losing market share. Um, so if I go back to the sound channel, we've got the mail screen. Just move it up to the top. And then there is the bunny falls down, the computer lands on him. Uh, that is at 24, tw sorry, 25 and a half seconds in. We've got the crash sound, 25 and a half seconds. It's, um, When you're happy with everything, it's time to export um, as an MP3. I no longer, I no longer need the YouTube file, and I can go back to my Powtoon file and 
go to the sound area and import the file which has got all my latest sound effects on it which is a separate track from the music click apply and if I just are you stuck it, working on legacy thing. applications that take ages to build and are a nightmare to maintain is your business software code base too convoluted for you to understand and test the cost of writing and adapting software traditionally increases exponentially with time when we would prefer it be much more linear you could be losing market share to your competition because updating your software is difficult, expensive, and time-consuming.